let's solve this system of equations by graphing. Remember, graphing is not the best way to do it uh, because you usually can't find the exact answer, but it's good to have a visual understanding of graphing equations. So first of all, this orange equation, the easiest way to graph this, because it's in slope-intercept form, is start with your intercept, which is your y-intercept, remember, 0, negative 2, and then use your slope. If your slope is 4 thirds, that means that your rise is 4 for every 3 that you run from a point. So let's start at a point, which is right here. We're starting at 0, negative 2, and we're going to rise 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to run 3, 1, 2, 3. There's our next point right there, which happens to be 3, 2. I write that down because it's good sometimes to check. Let's write, let's check 3, 2 in here. 3, 2. Does that work? The 3's cancel. What's 4 minus 2? 2. Sure enough, 3, 2 is a point. So my line, I only need two points, remember, to graph a line. So my line is going to be, let's see if I can get it on the first try. That's going to be my line-ish. And let's do the green one now. So notice the green equation isn't in slope-intercept form. It's in uh, standard form. And the easiest way to graph a standard form equation, in my humble opinion, is to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. I just did those backwards. This is the y-intercept, and this is the x-intercept. It doesn't really matter how you write them. This, when I plug 0 in for x, y is going to equal, I'm going to get 3y equals negative 6. So y is going to equal negative 2. So 0, negative 2. Hey, look at that. Oh, that was nice. It's the same. Now I already know what the solution is because it happens to be on my orange line. And then the x-intercept, when I plug in 0 for y, I'm going to get negative 4x equals negative 6, which means x equals 3 halves when I reduce it. So don't be afraid of it. 3 halves is just means that it's 3 halves is 1 and a half. Uh-oh. Guess what? That looks like the same line. You see how that looks like 1 and a half right there? Well, let's find out. Let's find out if 3 comma 2 is also on this green line. Let's plug in 3 for x. Here, I'll do this in a different color. I'm going to plug in 3 for x. And I'm going to plug in 2 for y, and let's find out if I get the correct solution. 6 minus 12, uh-oh, it does equal negative 6, so that points on the line also. Not a big deal. What that means is these two lines are the same line. The orange line and the green line are both the exact same line. And so what you write is um, all, you write all points on the line or if they ask you they might ask you you know how many solutions you say infinite solutions all points on the line because every one of the points that's on the blue green line sorry is also going to be on the orange line because those are the exact same equation in fact if you turn this equation into slope intercept form remember we do that by subtracting so I've got negative 4x equals net I'm sorry, let me redo that. I subtract the x from both sides. So my equation originally was 3y minus 4x equals negative 6. I want to isolate the y. So I'm going to add 4x to both sides. And now I'm going to divide by 3. Don't forget, you've got to divide both of them. And y equals 4 thirds. x minus 2 is the exact same as that orange equation. So those were the same equation, they were just written in different forms, and that's why um, you get this, this solution being all points on both lines.